Please welcome Allegra Courtright. She's from Neuroscience, and her supervisor is Dr. Frank McMaster. Allegra's 3MT talk title is Brain Boost, the effects of exercise on the brain in adolescents with depression. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. This is one of my favorite quotes by Dr. Seuss, not only because he was a fun and vivid storyteller, which I believe is also the case of my research and the story it has to tell, but because here he talks about brains, a key component of my research, and I'd like to share with you the direction I've taken in order to explore this fascinating area. Drawing from kinesiology, neuroscience, psychiatry, and chemistry, I've bundled concepts to explore an important area, an area that in some way, shape, or form affects us all, mental health. Now, my research focuses on depression, where I'm looking at the effects of exercise and fitness as measured by VO2, so that means sitting on a bike and working vigorously. And this data in, re in relationship to the brain. Now we all know that aerobic exercise is good for our hearts, but what does it do for our head? My research is looking at this in a specific structure in the brain in adolescents with depression. Now the structure that I'm looking at is called the hippocampus. It got its name because it's believed to most resemble the shape of a seahorse. It's important in episodic and spatial memory. Previous studies have shown that this area in the brain is often smaller in individuals with depression and may be one of the underlying reasons for impairment. Therefore, I'm using two really neat imaging techniques in order to look at this area in the brain. The first is magnetic resonance imaging. You might know it as MRI. This technique allows me to take multiple pictures of the brain and put them together to acquire a 3D image. From here, I'm able to manually trace that structure of the hippocampus and look at volume. I expect to see greater volume in individuals who have higher fitness. The second technique I'm using is called spectroscopy. This technique allows me to look at chemical concentrations in the brain. The chemical I'm looking at is called NAA, or N-acetyl aspartate, which is a marker of brain health. Like volume, I expect this to also be higher in individuals with higher fitness level. Now, Depression is a major public health problem. It affects about 15% of adolescents and causes impairment in all areas of life, including social, family, and academic functioning. There aren't many treatment options for this age group, but exercise does show promise. And therefore, it's important to analyze this and look at what exercise is doing on structural changes in the brain and potentially explore non-drug interventions for this population. Remember, Exercise is not just good for your body, it's also good for your brain. And my research is helping explain why. <laughs>